To order, this is a special call meeting. This is Thursday at 2 o'clock on the 29th of September. In accordance with provisions of section 21-3-21 of the Mississippi Code of 1972 as amended, Mayor D. Lewis Brule does hereby give notice of a special call meeting of the Mayor and Board of Aldermen of the City of Startwell, Mississippi to meet on Thursday, September 29th, 2022 at 2 p.m. in the Startwell Second Floor Conference Room of the Startwell City Hall located at 110 West Main Street, Startwell, Mississippi. That is where we are. The specific subject of the meeting is as follows. Consideration of adopting a resolution that specifically names the board approved uses of the American Rescue Plan Act, ARPA funds, based on the United States Department of Treasury's final rule and the Mississippi Legislature's directive as to the uses for which they are willing to offer matching funds and approval of the board order of approving the applications of the identified projects for the Mississippi Department of Environmental Quality, Mississippi Municipality, and County Water Infrastructure Grant Program and authorization for the mayor to execute any necessary documents to complete the applications and proceed with the projects should the city be awarded. Now, I realize that this is about iteration number four, and so I am not ashamed to say that what we have been doing is we have been responding as quickly as possible to changes and information as we receive it. And on Friday, I'm going to let Mr. Latimer weigh in here in just a second. On Friday, we received information that gave us the indication that some of the projects that we had put in play for our resolution, the last resolution we did, were um, potentially not going to be funded as projects because the engineering services had not gone out for bid as required by federal project. Mr. Latimer, would you be so kind as to provide that background? Yes, ma'am, and, and good afternoon to everyone. Um, so on Friday afternoon, Troy Johnston, Troy is a lawyer with Butler Snow who represents MML. He sent out an email to the Mississippi Municipal MML Lawyers Listserv, which all the city attorneys are a member of, and he said, hey, we've just found this out. And what he said was there is, there's a distinction between procurement under state law for engineering services as opposed to engineering services procured under federal law and the federal law applies to the one for one match, the dollar for dollar match of these ARPA funds, these MCWI funds. So what he said is, whereas the municipality can always uh, obtain engineering services without bidding them out, or without RFQing them out if it's not a federal project, because this is a federal match, you have to bid those services out. So what we did between the last resolution and this resolution is just call out projects where the engineering services were not bid out to make sure there would be no reason to disqualify a struggle project because the two phrases in the email that got everybody's attention is at one point he said if those projects remain it could prevent your city from getting the one for one match then later in the email he said it will be disqualified if projects remain in the resolution that were not bid out from an engineering standpoint so that's the only thing the allowable uses remain the same this resolution just takes out previous projects where the engineering services were not RFQ'd out. Okay, thank you, Chris. So yes, the, the reality is we have, as, as y'all all know, we have projects that certainly add up to what is the match. But in particular, the build grant and the Main Street area of projects are um, the ones that are uh, identified and calculated. So that's going to be the water lines on Main Street, the water lines on 182, the sewer on both, on, on both places, the stormwater, uh, both places. So those items will make that match that that adds up to the 13.6 million, I guess it is, that would be our 6.3 and the matching 6.3. And so everyone that we have talked to has said that uh, those funds should be available to us on a one-to-one -one basis, but we don't want to jeopardize anything that we've done uh, so that they would not match. And both the sewer projects um, that we have, the Rolling Hills and the um, Green Oak sewer projects, were not bid out. Um, so what we wanted to do, you know, we got a master contract with Garver, correct me if I'm wrong, Edward. That's right. It was a master contract, so it wasn't bid out. So that's the reason for this particular pivot. So um, I have a re the resolution in front of you um, takes that into account and, and talks about the requirements for the matching funds are as follows, Highway 182 project, the Main Street slash Lampkin project. So that's the reason for this meeting. Now, any questions of anyone as it regards um, the, well, as it regards anything? Anybody got any questions about the projects? These projects were already included in the um, resolution that we adopted before, but now the numbers and this application, and again, both uh, Mr. Williams and Ms. Williams 
have both been working on those projects, one for water and the other one for the Bill Grant and the Main Street project. And the application is, to say it's extensive is probably an understatement. It's very, very extensive. And I think that these guys have been doing a masterful job uh, of digging in and, and doing the things that they need to do to meet those requirements because it is very detailed. I anticipate actually that there are probably not that many municipalities that are going to be as ready as we are. Our guys are the best there are and they have been doing yeoman's work to make sure that we are filling out those projects and meeting those requirements and so I'm very proud of them. They put in long hours to do that but um, just to give you that sense of it, it, this application is ready to go and we wanted to make sure because it has to be in tomorrow so we have to hit send. We were going to try to hit send today to make sure there's no glitches in it which is why we're having this meeting. Have what today? I mean, the send on the application is electronic. I'm sorry, yes, it, it, to hit go or send or whatever. Submit. Yes, yeah, submit, whatever it is today so that if there are any glitches that pop up, we'll be, we can come back and circle back and have it in because it is due in tomorrow. And I'm thinking midnight tomorrow or five in close of business. I, I not to we never did not find that. out, did we? <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's 1159. I'm sorry, it is 1159 and that's PM. <laughs> okay, so that's the reason for the for the meeting today and not waiting until we had a work session tomorrow when everybody was gathered. And again, I always apologize if we have an extra one, but in this case I think the, the value of it is is um, worth doing. So questions, anyone? So all of this so to this is distill this to its simplest terms we are limiting the number of projects that we're submitting and we're increasing the dollars associated with each of those projects yes and those are legitimate dollars because right. that's what our work right. session is going to be about tomorrow is looking at the the whole litany of costs that are associated with the bill grant but we didn't need to get into those particulars right. today because that's part of the work session tomorrow and we are are we shaving oh, we're I'm sorry 6.3 is going into these two projects here for a dollar for a dollar match? Or are, we, are we shaving other projects off the board? The other projects that were already in that resolution were things that would not qualify if they hold to that. Because the engineer is not right. RFQ'd out. So we're, right. we're taking those off in the 6.3 with a 13 match. Are these 182 well, it's a six, and then the main it, three part. It's a 6.3 match to a 6.3 that we've already received. Right. So yeah. But have our projects increased in on, on these? Yes, they have. Yes, okay. they have. Do it. Yes, they have. And that's the reason for the meeting tomorrow is to have Chris go over, Chris Williams, go over and show you what has, we've got an MDOT uh, estimate of cost and we've got a, the yeah, Kimley Horn engineering estimate of cost and to show you how they have increased to the extent we're almost at a 50-50 match. We came in at an 80-20 match and we're now almost at a 50 what is the bill, what's, What is the bill grant up there now? 24? It's 19 construction and then all in is 26,311,000. What's the other size construction? The all your professional services, engineering, and then all can't, or, so your electrical, your off quarter is about mm -hmm. two million. So you can take the 19 plus the two, engineering services, um, everything along those lines. We can go through all those details. What about, you know, what'll happen to these projects that have fallen outside because they weren't engineered? And, and well, we were, already, we were already gonna do those anyway. I mean, remember that was what we did we're with our water rates. We're just going to reimburse ourselves for the cost that we are. We already plan them on, but we plan them with ARPA money that are not. No, yeah. no. The, when we originally started those other projects, they were planned with bond funds. And the ARPA match gave us an opportunity to maybe borrow less money. But but we intended to do them, and we're going to do them, and, and we were going to fund it with bond funds. Now, with the, the, mo the money... The scope of the money, I know Mississippi has been pretty specific about this money you had to be used, needed to be used for projects to be eligible for the match and stuff, for the things that the ARPA bill had in it, like water and sewer infrastructure. And, and stormwater. And stormwater, three, three big things in municipalities. Yes. So this money, that this, this extra money that's been put on these projects because they've gone, it's still going into those things and not going for peripheral stuff, stuff within the bill grant. Correct. In fact, that application is incredibly specific. I, how many pages is it? It's a lot as far as that goes. Yeah. It, it goes through, um, I, there's several hundred questions that go through yeah. and then all the uploads on that. But it is water, sewer, drainage is what the requirements are. And so going through the drain or going through the build grant project, what we did was we highlighted everything that was water, sewer, drainage, and then any appurtenances that went with it. So it, it can go for stuff that landscaping or benches or some of those things that you're talking about that are periphery item on that one. So we came up 
I came up with about $10 million that would be eligible that's all water sewer drainage. And then we had Mary, she went through and came up with about nine, eight. So we're kind of in the same range as far as what we thought was water sewer drainage. Okay. All right. Thank you. Anyone else? Any questions? Okay. Um, we have a resolution, which uh, I'm not going to necessarily read, but uh, Ms. Harden will put it into the, into the minutes of this particular special call. So um, for us to proceed, we need a motion to adopt this resolution. May I make such a motion as, as suggested by who wrote the motion? I just leave the council. Okay. Thank you, Alderman Beatty. I have a motion from Alderman Beatty. Do I have a second? Second. Second from Alderman Ruff. Any further discussion? All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. And we need a motion to adjourn, please. I have a motion to adjourn from Alderman Vaughn. Do I have second. a second? Second from Alderman Brooks. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you all. Uh, work session tomorrow at 11. It will be, the information will be associated with the bill grant, showing you the detail of that. And we can go, Chris can go as in-depth as you would like him to go. But it will be that and then the agenda. So, all right. Thank you, everyone. I really appreciate it. Sorry for having